Hey guys, Nintendrew here, and I want to give you a very special welcome to our very first Nintendrew Direct. In this video, we will be exclusively revealing five new physical Switch titles coming later this year from indie publisher Super Rare Games. If you aren't already familiar with them, Super Rare Games is an independent publisher of Nintendo Switch titles, which would otherwise be digital only, giving them a chance to have a physical copy, often with an included art book or manual, which seem to be so rare these days. Some of the games they've published before include Graceful Explosion Machine, The Mutant Muds Collection, and World of Goo. I myself have a pretty decent collection of their releases, and it's always great to see indie devs get a chance to reach a wider audience and have a physical piece of gaming history. And to be clear, this isn't a sponsored video either. One of my buddies at Super Rare Games reached out to me recently and asked if I wanted to announce a few titles, and I thought that sounded great. As I mentioned, today we are going to be revealing five brand new physical titles from Super Rare Games coming later this year. So let's get to it. Alright, our first announcement is for the title, Abzu. Now this game was initially released digitally on the PlayStation Network and Steam in August of 2016, and then it came over to the eShop later in November of 2018. Now, this is an adventure game developed by Giant Squid Studios, where you play as a diver exploring a vibrant ocean, discovering ancient technology and underwater ruins. The character can interact with the environment and wildlife around them to solve puzzles and find hidden collectibles. This game has absolutely beautiful environments with realistic wildlife, a relaxing ambiance, a delightful soundtrack, and fluid swimming controls. Something I really love is that the details of this story are implied silently through the gameplay and its cutscenes. Your character, an underwater diver, wakes up floating in the ocean and begins her exploration, where she encounters artifacts in the sea belonging to an ancient civilization that seems to have had some mysterious link with the ocean. And ultimately, she must find and destroy these devices that are the source of disturbances ravaging the environment. Very cool stuff. Now, for most of these titles, these games are just planned to release sometime later in 2021. But for this title in particular, I do have a specific release date to announce. Abzu will be publicly revealed by Super Rare Games on April 23rd and goes up for sale to the public on April 29th. So get ready for that. That'll be just a little under two weeks from today. Very exciting stuff. This game reminds me a little bit of like uh, Endless Ocean on the Wii or um, I I've heard some comparisons to Journey, the story-based adventure exploration game. So if you're a fan of that sort of thing, definitely don't forget to, to keep an eye on this one. Next up, the second title that we are revealing from Super Rare Games is Inmost. This is an action-adventure puzzle platformer game where you play as three different protagonists, each with their own distinct style of gameplay. You'll explore an eerie, deteriorating landscape using a scythe, pickaxe, hookshot, and traps to solve environmental puzzles and defeat enemies, all while uncovering the interwoven narratives of the main characters. This one is intended to be more of an experience than a game, with the gameplay acting as a vehicle that drives that storytelling. The main story is a dark yet touching emotional roller coaster that lasts about three to five hours. You play as a sword-wielding knight adventuring within a rundown castle, a young girl discovering the history of a mysterious house, and a drifter looking for answers. As you play, you start to unravel their interconnected stories, which explore themes of sacrifice, pain, loss, and hope. Next up, the third title on our list is Super Crush KO. Yes, Super Crush KO is also getting a physical release from Super Rare Games. This title is a fast-paced action arcade 2D brawler type game with flashy attack combos that are used against waves of alien robots. In addition to a double jump, dodge, punch, and laser blaster, the main character Karen is armed with four special attacks themed around popular snacks. Attacking enemies causes them to drop purple crystals that can be collected to charge special attacks, and a meter fills after enough kills which charges a devastating death ray. This is a super fun 2D brawler game. The stages sort of feel like Super Smash Bros. stages, so if you like that kind of fast-paced 2D combat, this might be right up your alley. In traditional arcade game fashion, your focus is to rack up as many points as possible, ultimately aiming for an S rank in each level by using different combinations of attacks, maintaining kill multipliers, and evading damage, which is a super rewarding and addictive cycle of gameplay. The game has replayability in that you can shoot for high scores on online leaderboards as well. When alien femme fatale Anne steals Karen's beloved kitty, Chubbs, who is determined to be the cutest cat in the universe, Karen is forced to blast through waves of Anne's unrelenting robot army to win him back. And you know, I absolutely adore a good story about a cute little kitten. Alright, the fourth title on our list is actually more than just one title. This is a, a collection of titles, the Deponia Collection. 
Now this one's actually really interesting. This is the first ever compilation of all four games in the Deponia series. The physical cartridge being released includes Deponia, Chaos on Deponia, Goodbye Deponia, and Deponia Doomsday. This game strikes me a lot like a Monkey Island or King's Quest type game. As you probably gather, this is a point-and-click adventure developed by Datalik Entertainment, where you click your way through a hand-drawn comic-style adventure, solving puzzles to advance the increasingly wacky series of events over the course of the four games. The unique, quirky world encourages you to interact with everything available. You'll need to investigate the environment, put items into your inventory, and then combine or use the items later in order to solve challenging puzzles and elicit entertaining, witty wisecracks from the protagonist. There are also several mini-games and conversational puzzles to navigate throughout the story. As far as that story is concerned, you play as an impoverished, ill-mannered anti-hero tinkerer named Rufus, who ultimately dreams of elevating himself from the squalid, garbage-covered planet of Deponia to the heavenly spaceship city floating in its orbit called Elysium, where the well-to-do reside. This dream is kickstarted when a beautiful woman named Goal, yes, literally named Goal, <laughs> falls from the utopia above to the mountains of trash below. Rufus decides to help her return to her home, but upon discovering that he bears an uncanny resemblance to her husband, he concocts a devious plan for escaping to the city above. The Deponia series follows Rufus as he fumbles his way through bizarre, chaotic, hilarious misadventures, all while ultimately being a story of romantic and personal growth as Rufus and Goal learn how to work together and love each other. I don't know about you guys, but I love a good point-and-click adventure, so I am super excited about that entire collection being available not only on Switch, but anywhere for the first time. All right, and finally, the last title to announce today is Vigil The Longest Night. Vigil is a 2D action RPG platformer developed by Glassheart Games. The story follows Layla, who is a highly skilled warrior of light and the last living member of her order, the Vigil. She returns to her hometown, but when she arrives, she discovers a mysterious evil force has overtaken the city, spawning monsters and causing the disappearance of several townsfolk, including that of her own sister. As Layla, you will explore several haunting environments inspired by the art of Chinese paper cutting and Taiwanese culture, while uncovering secrets and loot, interacting with the residents you encounter, completing quests, and battling nightmarish Lovecraftian enemies and bosses. Being trained in the use of swords, bows, halberds, and daggers, Layla has a slew of weapons each with their own special moves, actions, and combos that you can use with technical precision to battle monstrous enemies throughout the long night. Throughout this title, you'll use Metroidvania-style combat and platforming to help Layla unravel the mystery surrounding her missing sister, the eternal darkness, and the encroaching eldritch horrors plaguing their world. There are multiple endings to experience in this tale of horror that was heavily inspired by Salt and Sanctuary and Castlevania, along with a wonderful, eerie, immersive soundtrack. And that's about it! Thank you so much for watching this reveal of five brand new physical Switch titles coming from Super Rare Games later this year. Did anything in particular catch your eye on this video? Do you have a favorite that you're looking forward to, or maybe something that you'd hope to see from Super Rare Games down the line? Make sure to drop me a comment down below and I would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing to Nintendo for all sorts of cool gaming content, and make sure to share it with any friends who might find it interesting. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey guys, thanks again for watching and for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you like this one, here are two more videos you might like as well. As always, if you like what I do and would like to help out the channel, I've got a link to my Patreon on the right side of your screen. And otherwise, I hope you look forward to the next one. Take care!